Well, okay. where are you located? I am here in Los Angeles in my apartment. And what about you? Okay. I'm in Minnesota looking at the lake. <laughs> oh, pretty. To bring sunshine on the lake, yeah. But I'm sure it's colder nice. here, though. It's like 55 or 60 already. Oh, wow. Yeah, here it's it's pretty hot here. What was the weather like in Fiji? Uh, it was hot. Actually, when, we first, when I was leaving Minnesota in uh, late March, where here it was probably 50-ish. And so getting there, and I think it was like 85 or 90 with humid, humidity. And so that was definitely warmer than what I had here. But that felt so good. You know, that humidity just feels good sometimes. Uh, mm. The first two nights were rough, though. Like the pregame, we were sleeping in these tents. And that was hot. Mm. I would have rather been outside on the grass. But then well, when we got to the time, I'm... Oh, you know, go ahead. I was, was going to say, correct me. Itself, it was more breeze. A little bit breezier. Um, yeah. Am I correct in, in thinking you're the very first Olympian to ever appear on Survivor? I think I'm the second, maybe. I think there was one other person who was a track runner. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But you're the, the first swimmer. I know. Don't you think... Yeah, don't you think they should have, like, a tribe of Olympians? Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be amazing, yes. I'm trying to get them to do an all-winner season where they bring back all the winners. Oh, that'd be fun, too. That'd be <laughs> very fun. Or how about all the winners that getting off first? I, I, yes. I, I, as a fan, I don't like that. I like to see them go to, to the end. <laughs> um, and you, you performed in the 1988 Summer Olympics. And how does that yes. compare to the survivor experiences? Are there any similarities at all? Well, the similarity is that you have to test yourself and stay focused on what your vision is and what you want to create for yourself. But there's, there's a lot of differences, obviously. I mean, I remember talking to Alan about this. It's not like you can go train a certain amount of hours per day, so many days a week, and then all of a sudden be a winning survivor because there's so many mm -hmm. twists and turns that they create for the drama of the show that um, will not give you – you know, there's no guarantee on that. Whereas, like, if I had a bad performance in swimming, I could go, okay, I need to work on X, Y, and Z, and I can go do that so I can come back and do it better next time. Whereas this mm -hmm. game, you know, even the challenges you don't do again, you know? Right. And I think what was your... all the challenges, like, in a big um, retreat place. You could do, like, ten mm -hmm. challenges. It would be really fun. What was the audition process like for you? Were you – did you send in a tape, or was it – was it something else? Um, I sent it on a tape or, you know, downloaded a video or whatever, and then got a call in late November and then went to a finals week in January for a week in Los Angeles and where you see other potential cast members, but you don't talk to them and you're in your own hotel rooms and you can't leave your room. And then you do medical tests and psyche valves and um, all that good stuff, and then you go home, and then a couple of weeks later you get a call saying you're going. And so that's what happened for me anyway. And then uh, like a month later or six weeks later or whatever it was, um, I was off to Fiji. Wow. And was this something you'd wanted to do for, for a long time? So it's interesting. I had applied when it first came. I think the second show I had applied for, I never heard anything, and then I, I had watched the show a bit for the first few years, and then not for eight or so years. And then my kids and my husband and I have started watching it again about five years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. And um, really, just love the games in particular. They're really fun to see how they create them, and obviously just seeing how people handle living off of nature and all that. And there's the beautiful spots they get to go to. Um, so yeah, no, it's been a it's definitely a thing off my bucket list that I've really wanted to be able to do, and I feel blessed that I got to be part of it. And, um, yeah, it's, just, uh, it's definitely a, a cool thing to be, you know, off my bucket list, I guess, if you will. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the Tribal Council. The vote was one versus five. First of all, why did you vote out Ashley? So there's a lot not shown because of the editing, but um, there was a point where Ash um, – Chrissy and Ben and Alan and I were potentially going to vote Ashley. And there's stuff that happened before um, Alan got paranoid and made JP drop his pants. And um, <laughs> basically, I know, basically what happened was Ashley and I were talking for a while. That made Alan nervous. He came over to Ashley after that and then to JP and then said, Katrina told me that you guys have the idol, so use my name to tell him that. 
And then he came over to Ben and told him that. And so, um, and then I had a, I called him on this basically because I found out from Ben. And so, um, but then at that point, nobody trusted anybody. Not that anybody right. really had. Um, but then, um, and on top of that, from before that, Chrissy was not really eager to work with me because of our age. She was all into the age thing. And mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, we had a really unique group. And there's different times where I could have worked with Ashley and JP or Chrissy and Ben maybe or Alan or you kind of, you know, or Alan and I, you know, he was eager to work because of our athletic background. So it changes as the game goes along. And obviously I was in there a very short amount of time, but um, it was, you know, it's, you can see as the game goes along, like day 20 and 25 and 30, I'm sure it gets worse and worse and worse in terms of people getting paranoid maybe. <laughs> right. And a lot of fans were wondering if Chrissy might use that super idol to save you. And you, you didn't know anything about the super idol, right, until later on. You didn't know at the time. Right, correct, yes. So and, um, oh, go I ahead. hear you. I see why the fans felt that way based on what they saw on TV. Because they edited, you know, it shows a certain version of what happens, with, which is not exactly how it all is. And right. so, um, you know, don't be mad at Chrissy. <laughs> she was just doing her thing to protect herself. At the same time, right. with that being said, it would have been nice if she had used it for me. But, um, you know, I think from the beginning she kind of didn't really want me around because of our similarity in age. And mm-hmm. I think that threatened her. And so, um, and, I, and I knew when I got there I was going home and I was at peace with it. It's, uh, it's a funny thing, you know, I kind of, I'm a firm believer. I, mean, I really believe I could win this game, too, at the same time. But I also know, like, sometimes these things kind of happen, and, and it's okay. You know, it's like it doesn't change who I am. You win some, you lose some. It's uh, mm-hmm. I ended up having this, my whole real survivor experience ended up becoming very, you know, really my most inspiring piece of the whole ex- the show, the, not just the show, but my trip, was really being able to, you know, after the game, being able to embrace the people that came off and create mm-hmm. our own tribe. And um, so that had its own energy and experience versus what I experienced during the game. So my game experience is really short. Mm-hmm. And one of your teammates came off as kind of a crazy person on television. I'm just curious, what, what was it like being on the beach with Alan? Was he, was he that wild and crazy guy the whole time? Or, was, again, was this just kind of an editing thing? Mm, well, it depends, I guess. I think that moment <laughs> obviously set him off. <laughs> um, and, yeah, you know, I mean, it's unfortunate that happened for him. You know, I, he wasn't exactly at peace, was he? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, well, yeah. When you first landed on the beach and you looked around at your tribe, you see an NFL player, you see an ex-Marine and a lifeguard and a firefighter, and there's another mob. Did you immediately feel like we this tribe is going to kick some butt, or were you kind of worried? being with all of these, quote, you know, heroes, of which you were one of the heroes. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, You know, the, the hero is a label that everybody puts on us because, of, like, like Jeff said, we're, you know, these are projections that people put on to you and how they label you. And I think in the end, I mean, yes, you do. I mean, I did take it in mindful of the fact that, okay, people are going to know that I'm Olympian. I'm going to have to address this somehow. Uh, that was more my issue in my head, um, more than like, oh, my gosh, am I actually really a hero? And, you know, in my life, I've had people address that whole piece. But in the end, um, we all are much more than these labels that we put on each other. And that's the interesting part of this game is uh, we can create this perception of how we see the world or other people based on our limited beliefs. And if we stay stuck in that place, we're not going to really see them for who they really are. And so um, I was really just open to seeing who are these people. I'm going to get to know them over time. How are they going to react in this, this time as we're together? And how am I going to react? And how does that work, you know? And there's a lot of beauty that comes in with all that. I think as a tribe, we did a great job working together, building our shelter and getting food together and getting water. And um, there was no real – it was all pretty seamless on that stuff. And, um, and yet there's moments like Alan's deal where people just have a – that moment or a few mm-hmm. that cause um, other stuff to come up for them. Well, here's one final question before you, you have to, I may have to run and do other interviews. This is from John Bonetti. He does our live blog on, on Survivor each Wednesday. Uh-huh. He says, because this was only a one-hour premiere, usually they're longer, it felt like a lot of the the strategies were not shown on TV. So is there anything that you did, like a strategic move that you did that you were really hoping would come true but it didn't happen? 
Well, the big one is I just wanted to see the footage of is me looking for the idol. I spent about two hours looking for the idol. And, um, wow. I mean, the island is huge. And, um, you know, it could be anywhere, right? Um, and so I looked around the well. And I dug probably good five feet around the whole well. Um, I looked in, up and down trees. I climbed trees. And I looked in holes of trees. I looked on the trees to see. I never saw, like, you know how on the Internet now they say how there's these markers on trees? So I never saw mm-hmm. any of that. So who knows if that's later. Um, right. But I personally did not see it on my island um, at the time I was on the show. And But there was a scene, there was a time where I was climbing this tree and there was a hole in this crack came popping his head out and it just went, ah! And it just went, <laughs> the camera guy kind of had jumped back and I was jumping, I was jumping off the tree. Um, so I just wow. like to see that scene, you know. It's kind of funny. And then I also did a lot of uh, Qigong and martial arts on the beach in the morning early before everybody got up. Um, so I would have loved to see that too at the sun rising. But um, in terms of strategy, oh, yeah, there's, I mean, I spoke up, I mean, especially regarding this whole Alan thing, I spoke up about that. There's also, I also, you know, said to Ashley, you know, I tried to get her to get back, and JP kind of didn't know what to do after this whole Alan thing happened. I'm like, come on, guys, we can work together. And um, and then at this point, I also tried to work with um, Christy. I mean, there's, there's so much shift all the time, and anything can, can happen. Um, at the same time, our tribe was just, um, you know, unfortunately, we lost the challenge, and we had to go to tribal council, and... Um, that's just the way it is, and that's just part of the game of Survivor. You know, you win some, you lose some, and um, it doesn't change who you are. You get to you know, still really appreciate the game. I got to really – I really – I'm just so thankful I got to play, and um, I just wish it was longer than it was. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Enjoy your, your beautiful view of the lake there. I will. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thanks, Mom.